When Fred Cavalier's wife, Jean, suggested he get a job at the Oswego Speedway instead of paying to get in, he followed her up on the idea. It just so happened that a fellow employee at the Container Corporation in Fulton, New York, where Fred was employed full-time, worked at the concession stands at the Speedway and told him of several openings for the upcoming 1979 season. Fred called Romy Caruso and was hired to park cars for the first part of the evening and work as a grandstand usher for the rest of the night. The first weekend Fred worked was the weekend Dave Schulich Sr. swept the regular Saturday night show in the rained out Port City race the following Sunday back in June of 1979. Fred was promoted to assistant pit steward in 81 and worked with Jerry Rich for eight years before accepting the position vacated by Ken Von Groflin in 89, which found him selling pit passes with Don Bart literally in the evening and then running the 40 car electronic scoreboard in the judges stand later on. And for the next 25 plus years, it was Don and Fred in the pit pass booth greeting the competitors. On occasion, Fred's youngest son, Brian, still an ardent race fan, would help out when things got real hectic on big race weekends. Older children, Keith and Karen, were big Joe Gozik fans, and wife Jean worked in the concession stand for several years, making it an all-family affair at Oswego Speedway. And it was the desire to create a racing interest in his grandchildren that led Fred to step away from working at the Speedway in 2015 to rejoin his family once again in the grandstand but it probably wouldn't take much to coax Fred back to the pit shack and Judges Tower once again. Congratulations to Mitchell Speedway Press, Oswego Speedway Hall of Fame inductee, Fred Cavalier.